Yo, what is up guys? It's Kimbo here and today um, in this video, I'm gonna actually talk about um, Hasbro Beyblade Burst. So yeah, um, so if you guys don't know, um, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you know, uh, Hasbro released their line for Beyblade Burst at the beginning of January, so the beginning of this year, 2017. And yeah, so, um, you know, they made a few changes with things. And yeah, so in this video, I'm just going to tell you guys my thoughts and opinions on um, Hasbro Burst uh, thus far. I have picked up um, about five Hasbro Burst Beyblades, you know. So, yeah. Um, so the way I feel about Hasbro Burst is that, um, honestly, design-wise, like, they followed Takara Tomy really well. You know, obviously, like, with the layers, they just changed around the names a little bit. So, like, you know, layers like Valkyrie being changed to Valtriac, and then, like, Victory Valkyrie becoming um, Victory Valtriac, um, Kaiser Kirbyus becoming King Kirbyus, you know, which they actually did follow the names pretty well. And, yeah, so, like, one of the things that, like, was kind of uh, sort of, you know, eh about it is just, like, the packaging for uh, the Burst Beyblades. It might just be because um they sort of mass-produced them. Because I know they made them up in Canada, you know, because Hasbro is a Canadian company and they just made their way to the United States, but they just haven't revamped the packaging yet. But yeah, one of the things I really want to see and I really hope for is that they like sort of revamp um, Beyblades and then like maybe if they do some re-releases of some of the older Beyblades. So like, you know how they have like Valtriac and Unicrest out like those are fine, but you know, like uh, the dual layer Beyblades. So like it says, uh valtriac v2 which actually that's actually not that bad but yeah revamping it in the sense of like changing uh, the names of like the discs and the drivers or like the forge disc and performance tip and hasbro terms and yeah so i'm going to be using takara tomi terms for this so don't be like saying like oh you don't know what you're talking about like because i do because i'm just using like takara tomi terms for it because you know that's what i'm used to saying but you know obviously say like forge disc and driver well like forge disc and performance tip but yeah um so you know, they have the number system on the packaging right now, but I feel like they should really change it around because, like, they have done so in the app. So, like, they have the numbers, but then they have, like, the names of the parts, the actual parts, like, in smaller underneath. I think they should just get rid of the numbers because, like, the number system is kind of eh because, I mean, it's so much easier to, like, name because I know they have um, Survive as TS-02, you know. And they should just get rid of, like, that whole system. Because, like, TS-02, that's so complicated to say. Like, just why not call it Survive, you know? So, like, Rock Devore, have you survive? You know, it's just so easy to say, you know? And it would be, like, you know, really good compared to Takara Tomy's. Because, you know, like, it's okay to change, like, the name of the disc. Because they obviously have to do that because of, like, uh, the copyright reasons. I mean, like, change the name of the layer because copyright reasons. Because, you know. So, like, that's why they change them from, like, Unicrest to like unicorn to unicrest or valkyrie to valtriac but yeah um so maybe just in the future hopefully like on their packaging they won't show the numbers they'll just show like ring or ring defense or like wing excel for the bottom parts and yeah so like overall the name system it's actually pretty cool you know so um you know they just switched around like i said like kaiser kirby's to king kirby's like switching them around a little bit like um rising ragnarok switched to raging rock devour which you know that stuff's perfectly fine but yeah so like the big thing that's like different about the system with hasbro is the slide system and you guys know if you don't know like takara tomi's beyblades they came with teeth they're called teeth so like they click so every time the Beyblade is hit, it'll click like once or something, you know, and there are four different teeth. So like it'll click three times, so like one, two, three, and then on the fourth one, it'll burst, you know. That's how the Takara Tomy Beyblades work. But Hasbro got rid of the clicks and just made the slide feature, which I can see them to totally doing that just because of like fear of, you know, the teeth wearing down and stuff. But like Takara Tomy's teeth don't even wear down that fast, you know, and... Yeah, so they don't really, like, wear it down that quickly, at least for me. But, yeah, um, the slide feature, honestly, I feel like it's, like, it's an interesting feature because it completely switches the game around because you have layers that, like, you know, it focuses more on, like, the actual power of the layers rather than, like, the teeth as well. So, like, that's kind of, it could be a good thing and a bad thing. So, like, what I mean by this is that, like, you have some defensive Beyblades, like, Beyblades that are more round with the slide feature, they'll be pretty good because, like, with the slides, it'll be harder to, like, you know, get them to burst because, like, if they're that round, they won't have that many contact points and then they won't be able to lose the slides that easily. But for attack-type Beyblades, so, like, Valtriac or 
Excalibur, which is Excalius. I think that's what they named it. I haven't gotten like wave two or three where I live yet because, you know, we're just rolling in things because like where I live, they're kind of slow with things. But yeah. Um, but anyways, like the attack layers, it seems like it's just a little bit harder for them. You know, and they're not as good because, like, they don't have those teeth to back them up. Because Takara Tomi's Beyblades, like, whenever they attack Beyblades with really big contact points, they tend to have really big teeth because they need those teeth in order to, like, you know, um, make up for the recoil. Because without those teeth, like, with the recoil, like, they would burst so much more often. And since, like, Hasbro got rid of those teeth, the attack layers aren't as good, you know. And just testing out... Um, Beyblades, you know, the attack Beyblades so far, because, like, the Beyblades I have in my collection so far are Rock Devour, like, I've got Rock Devour, I've got Nepstrius, I've got Valtriac, I've got Unicrest, and I've got, um, Valtriac V2, you know, Victory Valtriac. And, yeah, so, like, at least from what I've tested out, like, the attack layers tend to burst more just because of those contact points, you know, because they have those contact points, and the slides don't really make up for that, so, you know... To me, it just seems like the attack Beyblades, like, they can go in and get good attacks, but then they'll end up just, like, destroying themselves with a burst because, like, they don't have the teeth to really back them up, which is, like, sort of disappointing, you know. So, like, it mainly because I'm, like, I call myself more of an attack blader because I like using attack combos, like, big time. I'm a really big fan of attack combos, you know. I love defense, stamina, and balance combos, like, you know, like, mainly attack and balance are what I use, but, like, if I had to pick one that I mainly use, it would be, like, attack. Attack or it would be balance, you know. But, yeah. So, um, this system, the slide system, it actually seems like it's more beneficial for, like, defense and stamina type Beyblades, you know, like, with uh, really, really round um, layers, you know. But um, that's just, like, my views on things. And that's how it's just been, for me at least, because I've done battles. And, like, in the battles that I've done so far, all the attack Beyblades have been shut down, like, big time. I haven't done a battle with um, V2 yet, but I will be soon. Like, you know, Victory, Valtriac, you know, Hasbro's, you know, Val like, Valtriac V2. But, yeah, so that's just how it's been for me so far, you know. And like I said, this is just from my personal experiences, so it's like sort of my opinion. So you guys don't have to like believe everything I have to say. But, you know, um, this is just like how my how it's been for me, you know, for Burst, you know, just having these Beyblades so far. Like, I really like the designs because Hasbro honestly did like a pretty damn good job with the colors. Like, obviously, Hasbro did their usual thing of changing the colors around and stuff. But um, it actually turned out pretty well. Like, I honestly like how Hasbro's Valtriac looks more than Takara uh Valkyrie, you know, mainly because, like, that was the first Burst Beyblade that came out, and so the stickers weren't that high quality or anything, but, yeah, but Hasbro's, like, um, they painted the yellow on and stuff, and, yeah, I can actually show you guys that, like, you know, you see here, like, the design for it, like, it just looks really nice, like, you know, like, they painted it on, but it just looks so damn good, you know, I really like how it looks. You know, plus, like, with the yellow on the wings and stuff, and, yeah, and plus they don't have the stickers, so you don't have to worry about, like, the stickers, like, getting worn down or anything. But, granted, Takara Tomy did get better with their sticker quality over time, you know, we're seeing that with, like, the newer Burst Beyblades. But, yeah, so, um, design-wise, the Beyblades look really nice, but I just wish that, like, they did bring the teeth over because, like, the attack layers really need those teeth because, like, without those teeth, there's, like, they have a lot of recoil, and that recoil is still there because the design is right like they got the design right but without those teeth like the attack layers that were normally good under Takara Tomy with the teeth um aren't as good under Hasbro with the slides because of the recoil you know so they burst a lot easier but yeah so um you know that's just like my views on things you know so there's definitely positives with the slide system like Hasbro Beyblade Burst and then there's also like the negatives with it as well so, yeah, um, you know, like I said, everything is just, like, my opinion, and, like, I say it because of, like, my experiences with the Burst so far, because I've done, like, a lot of test battles, you know, I've been testing them out and seeing how the Beyblades, like, act, you know, but, yeah, so, anyways, I'm looking forward to seeing, like, the rest of, you know, Hasbro's line for Burst and how they, you know, make the Beyblades, like, honestly, I'm hoping Hasbro, like, does something good, like, where they bring some of the more rare layers like they did with uh, Unicorn or Unicrest, because like the only way you can really get it is either with the random layer collection. Um, I think it's volume two or three, one of the two. Um, that's the only way you can get it, along with the actual set that it comes in, you know, with Unicorn Ring Defense and a couple other Beyblades. But yeah, um, they made it so you can actually get this layer 
you know, pretty easily. But yeah, I'm hoping they do that same sort of thing with like, for example, um, Amaterios. Like if they did that with Amaterios, that'd be cool. If they did that with Baldor, that would be amazing because Baldor is really rare and not a lot of people have Baldor. You know, it's still really hard to get it in the game. And yeah, um, and if they did that with like Inferno Ifrit, you know, like I2, and then they made it where it doesn't break, you know, first launch and they actually reinforce it and stuff, you know. But yeah, um, who knows? I don't know if like they'll stick with the slide system. Like I think they might, but if they do, I don't know if they'll actually bring in the teeth. But like, if they did, that'd be really cool. But yeah, um, so you guys can put your opinions on Hasbro Burst down in the comments too. And yeah, so I just gave my thoughts about it. And yeah, I honestly wish that the uh, phase did have teeth because then like the attack layers would be so much better. Because right now they just it seems like they just like burst themselves. You know what I mean? But yeah. Um, Anyways, I'm looking forward to, like, the rest of the Beyblades that come out with Hasbro's line. And, yeah, so, like, you know, they'll put a new twist on things. And, like, having the different colors, it adds a new flavor. Like, that's what Hasbro always does. Like, they add, like, a different flavor to things. So, like, if they were exactly like the Karatomi Beyblades, then it would be like, oh, well, you know, I can get them easier. But then, like, you know, like, they don't add their own, like, personal touch to it. So, I like how they changed the colors up. I even liked how they did it during, uh... Metal Fury, you know, some of the colors were like snotty green colors, which, you know, was like, eh, like I called them like, especially the spark effects line, because I call them spark effects, uh, effed up snot colors, you know, because it just looked like snot kind of, but they did end up glowing under a black light, which was really cool. But yeah, anyways, um, those are my thoughts on, you know, Hasbro Burst so far, you know, it's subject to change because it's still in the early phases, you know. But yeah, anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button down below and let me know how I did. And also, please put your like what your thoughts on Hasbro Burst down in the comments because, you know, you guys might have some other Hasbro Bays that I don't have yet. And yeah, so um, I really like seeing other people's like opinions on things, too, because, it, you know, it's it's honestly great seeing like just, uh, you know, how other people think about things, you know, and getting, you know, that... Um, getting the opinions of other people about like bursts and stuff you know it's great seeing other people's feedback it's it's one of the best things you know but yeah anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to smash that like button down below and let me know how i did so until next time this is kimbo signing off see you guys later thanks for watching and i am out